Hello everyone, this is Jeff of Tau Flare Mouse. Today we're going to be shooting glass custom made slugs from a shotgun. Now after watching another video of mine where we shot glass projectiles, a viewer called out saying, hey is there a glass blower in the house? And someone stepped up and his name is Redneck Hippie Freak and he also has a channel called Sockwood Studios where he does glass blowing and stuff like that. So at the end of this video I'll put a link to his video where he is making one of these slugs and it's pretty impressive it's pretty neat how he does it we were really eager to try these things out and today we'll be shooting five of these we still have a few left and we'll try those on another day shooting at different targets and hopefully we'll have better lighting when we try it for the second time you got one of those focaccia shells there this first one is modeled after a just a normal deer slug. It's very light though, it's only about two tenths of an ounce or roughly about six grams. That's impressive. And he said don't breathe that dust. This first slug worked really well. I'm not sure where Darren was aiming, I think he was trying to hit the center of it, so it drifted a little bit to the right. Now this locker door is very thick metal in relation to like a car door. This is about two or three times the thickness. So that was pretty impressive that it just blew right through there. The glass slug just disintegrated as it went through. The next slug is about three tenths of an ounce or closer to 10 grams. Oh, went over. Oh. Now you're probably thinking, oh, that Darren, he can't aim, but you can see how the round curves around. It could have been affected by its own shock wave as it neared the watermelon. And then Darren found the round and it was largely intact still. But pretty good sized round there, really. Hey, bit, load her up. A bit more weight. Yeah, that's probably half an ounce. Oh, that went to, way to the left. And I'm telling you, supersonic aerodynamics is, is a weird bird. You can see how the slug seems to be hitting its own shock wave and is pushed out of the way right around the watermelon. And we're not having much luck as far as accuracy goes, so we're going to move forward a little more. That's awesome looking. Let's see how it loads. Candy. Oh yeah. Now in this shot, Darren moved from about 30 yards to about 15 yards away. Wow, went off the side. Despite being a spitting distance away, the round still kind of twisted around and didn't fly as straight as we had hoped. Now a projectile's best friend is mass. That's why a lead bullet flies nice and straight. There's a lot of mass there. So this round is physically heavier, but it's also physically larger. The best way to think of lightweight projectiles is, is like throwing a ping pong ball as hard as you can compared to throwing a golf ball. We have one more slug to shoot, so we thought we'd have a bigger target to shoot at. We've got this giant piece of very thick tempered glass. Didn't you say that was from a windshield from a tiger tank? No, I did not. Oh. Oh. What is it from? <laughs> I think it's the end of a table. Oh, okay. This one is is a bullet shaped. I think it's about six tenths of an ounce. Yes. Yeah, we haven't had good luck with these things so far. So, whenever you're ready, right. don't breathe the dust. Sorry. Hold on, let me hold breath. Hold your breath. 
Holy crap. <laughs> Don't breathe the dust. Hold your breath. From which glass? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, the bigger target and bigger bullet combination seemed to work real well for us this time. We thought shooting at a really big piece of glass with a big old giant ass bullet made out of glass would be pretty neat to see. And it it turned out it was pretty neat. So hopefully if you made it this far into the video, you aren't disappointed. This is a little redemption for you. One thing we didn't know when we shot it was if the, the projectile just shattered on the surface and then the safety glass just blew out. But you could see the bullet just blew its way through there. Really impressive. And the good thing about safety glass like that is it just turns into little squares of glass, more or less, that aren't sharp, and the cleanup wasn't as bad as you imagined. Now, if you're interested in seeing how these are made, you can click on this link here. I'll also have a link in the description to Sockwood Studios, where Butterfinger, as he is known, shows you how he made one of these rounds and it's pretty cool it's really cool it's something i could never do anyway we hope you enjoyed watching this we had a lot of fun making it made quite a mess but still it was fun and we were excited to try these out